Hello, and welcome back to our Skyrim Let's Play Tales of Baldassar the Great and uh, his trusted assistant, Sophia. <laughs> Which I found out that um, she has actually been studying in Winterhold for a little bit and uh, managed to make a bit of magic that takes off the clothes of people, so yeah. Okay, nice, nice knowing that she can do that. But today, we will find her some suitable attire. Hubba hubba hubba. Come on, Sophia, let's venture out. Venture forth. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Jorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. Mm -hmm. All I ask is a fair chance. Up the to protect yourself or deal some damage. Actually, I'm looking to protect my my uh, last back there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't think she's used the heavy armor type. She does use the shield. Hmm. Now we can go with this one. Her hide boots, shield, for mittens. Huh. Well, let's give her that one as well. That's a full body. Hmm. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Thanks. What is it? What is it? Oh, what is it? <laughs> uh, yeah, twenty five, twenty five point six, twenty five point six, same. Fifty. Uh, E for gift. You met my father. Well, He's a uh, steward up at Dragon's Reach. Um. Yes, I'm listening. Mm hmm. I could get used to this. Didn't I give her the boots? No, I didn't. I shield. Uh -huh. I help my father in more ways than people realize. And I hook the pots of here. Nice. Yes, I'm listening. Wait, what do you know about what one? Mm, well, there's your Fasker, where the poses go to show off, but start crying because they split their meat. <laughs> then there's Dragon's Reach, the Yall's Palace, which is full of pretentious fools. Some place called the Drunken Huntsman, which is kind of misleading as there are no drunken huntsmen in there. <laughs> and some other place is not worth a mention. Most importantly though, there is an inn. <laughs> okay, uh, tell me about the people in what one? Well, there are not enough bad words to describe Nazim, who is lucky <laughs> to still be alive. Then there's that kid Braith, who thinks he can get away with anything, but forgets that one day she will grow up. The annoying preacher that nobody listens to. Also some slimeball called Balathor, who runs the general store and frequently sells his family members to the lowest bidder. <laughs> then there's the alchemy woman, who has pronounced me dead several times to flog her overpriced wares. And some cheap tart at the market who sells a body to every man in Whiterun. Did I miss anyone? <laughs> she is gonna be the best companion ever! Storage, okay, cool. Alright then. Well, um, yeah, with her on. Uh, at our heels, let's uh, go out and have some fun. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Should we try and go for, um, 
Yeah, why the hell not? Let's go. Cool. Let's try and go for high Rothgar this time. I wish dead. Or, or maybe nah. I'm not sure I like the sound of the seven thousand steps. Surely that must absolutely What's kill your clean? legs. I also better check ball? I'm wearing underwear. No among us could possibly. Because I've heard that, that it can get a little it's chilly like around the southern parts, if you know what I mean. I don't need your help to do that before you ask. <laughs> By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon is that point. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Hmm. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Yeah. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Cool. Be I careful up there. Let me see. My own running force isn't uh, all uh, cracked up to be, so yeah. What meltdown? Cool. <laughs> so let's go with. Honestly, I'm not certain. Hmm. Doesn't seem to take that much. Apparently you're not using uh, just the shield I gave you. So that's why you're not using the shield. You're both a mage and a... Uh... Oh my god. Nice. Very handy. Why the Dunmer are called Dark Elves? It makes them sound really evil. They are evil. Trust me on that. Hey! The goats are leading us to High Rafgar. Here we got the hunter. So you can do ice as well. Cool.
gonna have to. Before I do unspeakable things to your corpse. <laughs> Good luck. I can fly. I believe. I hate Nagus. They don't give any loot. <clears throat> My parents were funny people. I mean, very funny, not the haha -ha kind. Okay, glad to know that. <laughs> no, I know where the uh, <clears throat> it's coming from. Down, we could also we could just go chop the ridge up there. Oh well. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to Hyrothka. Hmm. Well, the next one is not as much as a wolf, more or less like a. Uh, Gigantic um, troll. Impact. Uh, most destruction spells will stack at the opponent when dual casting. Hmm. Quash 50. So let's go. No, not Rune Master, but Impact. You seem so quiet. Don't you have anything witty to say? Hi.
what? I was putting inappropriate thoughts in her head? <laughs> no. And there we go, High Rothgar. So yeah, for those of you who have seen all of this and uh, yeah, don't want to see me go through um, <clears throat> all of this, learning the uh, Fus Row and uh, stuff like that. Oh, Fus Row da. Uh, you can. Uh, Actually, you can just give me a second here. Let me see. Where is it? Well, we made it here alive at least. This place is huge. Yeah, it is. I would hate to have been the ones who built it on the highest mountain in Skyrim of all places. Hmm. You guys can click the chest. And uh, yeah. It will skip ahead. And uh, we'll be done. For those of you who want to see it, follow me. Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Mm -hmm. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. I was just about to say something in Danish, but I, ho I held it back. It is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Uh... Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. <clears throat> you are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You okay. are the only one that has been revealed thus far. Nice. That is all I can say. Uh, I'm ready to you go. have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All mm -hmm. shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Roll. Come on. There you go. You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. 
As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Stand there, will you? Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Well done. Again. Perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Yeah, we already know where that's going. To the courtyard, my friends. Those greybeards are a strange bunch. Imagine having to sit there in silence all the time. I just couldn't do it. I struggle staying quiet for even a minute. Also, what's the point in having all that power and not using it? I suppose mm -hmm. those greybeards must be getting on a bit, though. <clears throat> we will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Wood! Hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thing. Approach Master Bori and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate Whirlwind Sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori? Rex! Wolf! Atlas! Now, your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your Whirlwind Sprint to pass through before it closes. <coughs> Your quick mastery of a new Thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice. <clears throat> you will return. Wind. Hey. Come on, Sophie. Hmm. Unrelenting foreshout. Tallest mountain in Skyrim. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We should fetch our good friend Lydia and show her the few. And at the same time, you could show her your new shout. If she accidentally falls, then I suppose it's no big loss. <laughs> what? 
Don't give me that look. <laughs> oh my god, she is perfect. Oh, I'm in love with her already, damn. So you nuts decided to click on the chest. Ah, god damn it, you missed quite a bit, uh, quite a good bit of tidbits from our uh, girl Sophie here. <laughs> oh well. Well, you all know what we uh, what we have to do now. We are going to the grave on Ustengrave. But first, let's us go to White Run Stables. We're gonna travel to Markarth. And boom, baby. And we are here, and I'm sorry, I should have clicked record as soon as we got here, because she just came up with the most lovely little, little tidbit. She said, so you need the Horn of York and Windcaller? Please? Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capital. Where do you want to go? Uh... Morthal. I think it's Morthal. Climb yeah. and back, and we'll be off. Uh, you need the horn, you want a York and Windcaller? Mm, yes. Well, I had heard he was a little horny. <laughs> you ready to go yet? Hmm. Okay. What's the Yaw going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards looking for in strong, our strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. Ah, it's no use. Unless it's about the mill. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. Hmm. See ya. Keep your wits about you. Well, aren't you the handsome one? You and I should spend some time together. Whoa. Hubba, 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 hubba. Okay. That way. Ooh. Nine root. And what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Ooh, we got a death belt. Nice. Oh, yeah. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Yeah. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort, they ref I will see. <coughs> yep. That's the win. That's the one. not here but it's just something new. Morvius Lair. Gonna have to check that one out later on. Alright. So it is this one over here. And it appears we have some standing stones over here. I knew I heard something. Damn. That we do when we have some... Uninvited guests.
so much fun. The thrill of almost getting caught is more addictive than skooma. All right, yeah, now it's not the time for talking. <laughs> oh, I could kiss you. Oh my god. Hmm. And there's that coin again. So eight. We have one thousand six hundred and sixty-one. It gets removed. Oh, okay. Man, you're a black bitch. <clears throat> hey, uh... Sophia? Yeah, I'd like me to see. Nice. Uh. Good one. Well, guys, we're here at Ustengraf. Thank you all so very much for watching, and uh, yeah, see you all tomorrow. And of course, catch on the flip side.